Welcome back to Get Weld Soon. So I had a question about stick welding thin material. So I got some, uh, a couple of scrap pieces here. Actually, here's one. It's a piece of trailer fender that I welded on for a guy, one of my friends. I put some fenders on his trailer. Anyway, this, this is a 332 7018 rod, and I don't know if you can tell or not, but the metal is just a little bit thinner uh, than the rod. So pretty thin stuff. And uh, I'm gonna put these two pieces in my vise here and uh, see if I can't run a vertical downhill for you. Okay, so when you fire up on this thin stuff, you, you're gonna have to move pretty quickly. Uh, you can see me boot, moving back and forth, side to side, making sure it's it, it ties in, melts into piece to piece. And uh, the slag is gonna wanna run down. You can, see, you can see it running down there and it's gonna make you stick if you're not careful. <clears throat> but it just takes a little practice. You'll figure it out. But uh, you gotta move quickly because uh, you will blow a hole in that thin stuff uh, if you don't. And, uh, but anyway, if, you, if all you have is a stick machine and uh, you need to weld on some thin stuff, you can do it for sure. Uh, you just, you'll have to do it downhill because uphill will be uh, pretty much impossible <laughs> with a stick unless you get some little bitty rods. Uh, this is 332. Well, there you have it, guys. Downhill stick welding on super thin metal. Yeah, it's not pretty at all, but uh, it is welded on both sides. If all you got is a stick machine for this thin stuff, it can be done, okay? And it'll hold really good. Okay, so don't think it can't be done.